Adam Petrolhead Presents. Today we're going to compare two uh, cars for taxi or for Uber. So the first one is 2012 Volkswagen CC. It used to be called Passat CC. Uh, it's 2 liters, 140 uh, brake horsepower, DSG gearbox. And then on the left side, we've got Volkswagen Passat 2015 uh, called B8 or MK8. Uh, 2 liters, 150 brake horsepower, manual gearbox. This one, it's kind of like a poverty pack, maybe the level above poverty pack. Uh, it's a business uh, edition. Uh, on the other side, we've got CC in a much higher spec. Uh, which you're gonna see quite, quite soon. Uh, uh, perform is will I fit into the boot of Volkswagen Passat? I'm pretty sure I will, despite I'm pregnant or I look like I'm pregnant. I think I'm gonna do it. And by the way, I'm six foot three. <laughs> quite comfortable inside the only thing missing is like pillow <laughs> but apart from that it's all right I do have any, any problem uh, even if you need one more passenger in your taxi this is the car to choose <laughs> now we're gonna have a look at CC um, I would say <laughs> the actual boot seems the length of it it's almost I would say kind of the same but I think it's not as deep as, as Passat. I don't really think it will be a big problem. I'll try not to scratch it because Milan will kill me, so... <laughs> it's actually quite nice. I can tell it's slightly smaller. <laughs> But again, if I really had to, small pillow and I should be fine. So, I wouldn't recommend, by the way, getting an extra passenger in the boot. <laughs> Just in case you have plenty of space for, for the luggage. Right guys, so we are going for holidays, or maybe not you, but your passengers. You are doing an airport job. So you have to fit it into, into the boot. Well, so we'll start with the largest one. Okay, the first one. This one. There you go. The third one. These are kind of smaller ones, which probably they're like a cabin luggages. The fourth one. And the fifth one. And that's how it looks like. If you really wanted to pack more bags, I would say there is still space for like a few smaller ones uh, that they would easily fit. Let's say here, we could kind of put one of them onto the larger one. I don't really think the, there will be that much problem to do it. As you can tell, it's a, it's a very difficult task. I'm already out of breath. gonna try the same thing into Passat so we start again with the large one first as you can tell there is a bit of a bit more space in there so we could potentially put one back onto the other which I don't think we could do in CC but at the same time it's not a it's not a major major problem so we'll put it this way we'll take another one and we'll take another one. So as you can, <laughs> as you can tell, there is slightly more space, and it's also a bit deeper. So, if we had another like one luggage, it would fit in here, and then potentially two two kind of small cabin uh, luggages on the side, and maybe like one or two small bags. So it is slightly bigger, 
but at the same time I don't really think you will need much more than what you can uh, put into, into the CC. We're gonna try to sit uh, at the back of Passat and we're gonna see how comfortable we feel. So well welcome to my welcome to my limousine. It's almost like a Bentley feel, <laughs> as you can tell. So we've got uh, cupboards, uh, but of course, as you can tell, they're not the best. They always fall off the actual trim. And how do you feel, Milan? Very good. So much space in the front leg, and also had bigger space. Do you feel like in Audi A8? Yes, of course. <laughs> Where where do I activate massage? <laughs> here. Somebody it, in a boot. Somewhere here. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, yeah. I, I would say I I would feel definitely quite comfortable traveling, especially as a passenger. If I had a few drinks, I would be I'll be fine. I'll be actually absolutely fine. It is slightly smaller than Skoda Superb. In Skoda Superb, you've got a bit more legroom, and I would say Superb has also a bit more headroom, but. Really, it's a, it's a very tiny difference. How many people are really tall? It's a, it's it's definitely definitely minority of population. Um, and as you can tell, this is a poor version. There are no adjustments to temperature or anything like that. Uh, and uh, but but it's kind of sufficient for for this, I think. And now we're gonna try CC. And we're gonna do the same thing to this car. It's definitely lower. You can tell it's it's a bit lower. Darker. But, uh, darker. <laughs> but actually it feels kind of more comfortable. I suppose because of the because of the leather seats and some additional things like that. So you don't really have to even open it up. When you open it up, you've got nothing. <laughs> So more, <laughs> more space maybe <laughs> more space for some useless crap but, <laughs> but it's nice it's actually nice uh, and this is probably quite useful but of course you wouldn't like your passengers to be drinking here because they would of course spill something you've got um, basically plug for charger exactly the same as in Passat but definitely the leather seats they, they actually feel very nice honestly they, real, they feel really really nice uh, and as we as we mentioned before, there is less headroom, but again, not by much. In, term, uh, in terms of the legroom, it's kind of the same. It's a very small difference, uh, not probably even noticeable by, by most people. Uh, hooks, exactly the same. Um, and apart from that, it's a, it's, a, it's a very similar car. The actual inter interior on uh, CC, it's based on Passat B7, so you can tell the steering wheel is kind of outdated it's not uh, the same as as in the b8 uh, same as like smaller screen that that had been um, that has been updated in a sort of uh, newer 2015 uh, uh, facelift but again the actual dashboard looked uh, looked almost almost the same both so gonna have a look whether the seats fall down in Passat and how it looks like so we can do it both ways we can either manually do it from the inside that's the way I, I thought is the only one but Milan explained to me that you can also use these buttons in here which I had no idea what they're for I mean you can probably tell by the picture but I never paid <laughs> attention so we just do it this way it's almost automatic like in a some extra great car and we've got all the seats down so this is the mount for the basically for fire uh, fire extinguisher which is of course normally not needed it is because of the regulation in Northern Ireland uh, it's quite spacious I would say uh, you've got a lot of a lot of room to put even more crap in uh, Again, because it's not hatchback, you can tell it's not uh, perfect for larger items. But then 
I think for Salon it's uh, it's actually plenty, plenty of space. So now we're gonna move to CC. We've got oops, sorry. We've got similar bottles. Uh, basically the first one on the left, boom, and then the second one on the right. And I would say it's very similar. Again, as we mentioned before, I would say in my my opinion the only difference is actual deepness of, of this uh, of this uh, part but apart from that still plenty, plenty of space still considering it's kind of like a sporty sporty salon right uh, I would say it's very comparable it's the, there is not that much difference between uh, Passat and uh, CC how CC looks like with uh, boot open it's quite a spacious boot, as you can tell. It's not as big as in Skoda Superb or regular Passat, but considering it's like a sport coupe, it, it looks actually quite quite fine. Uh, that's the back seats. It's a very nice combination. Oh, as you can tell, Milan is taking good care of it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the interior. Again, really nice trim. Actually looks very, very nice. We also have the frameless windows on the side. As you can tell, it's almost like in a Bentley. You can open all of them from, from the actual fob. Guys, I've got my seat adjusted. Uh, basically, it's absolutely fine. Almost exactly the same position as in uh, my actual Passat that I drive. And we're gonna have a look how it looks like at the back. So if I'm trying to sit behind me, let's have a look whether I'm gonna fit in. The position is much lower, so basically it's maybe not as easy to get in if you're a granny or if you have some back problems or you've had too many vodkas, but apart from that, it's actually right. As you can tell, I'm six foot three. I have a bit of maybe challenge with my head with my headrest, but uh, with the headroom. But uh, but I can actually fit if I don't straight, if I don't sit exactly straight. Uh, it's absolutely fine. In my opinion, there is uh, plenty of space for two passengers at the back. The third one maybe for shorter journeys. Uh, but at the same time, everything depends if it, if the car is used for taxi or for Uber. It doesn't really matter because you know they're not they're not going to be traveling in this car every day right it's only like a short journey mostly so um let's have a look in the actual passat so if we have a look here again that might seem adjusted to me it's almost the same exactly the same position uh, and then if i go to the back seat. I've got a lot of crap there, so <laughs> do not pay attention. There is a bit more headroom, not by much, because if I if I want to sit straight, again, it's not it's not possible. But it's uh, slightly better. Um, on the other hand, the actual legroom it's almost the same. I can't see any difference. Um, the only I suppose major dif difference is that if you work during the day and you're picking up a lot of grannies or basically people who have some mobility issues this will be a bit easier for them to get in and get out but then on the other hand if you want to drive a fancy CC with uh, much better specs I mean the choice will be probably slightly different So now we're gonna have a look at Passat. The actual boot space is slightly bigger, but not by much. They're both uh, saloons, so as you can tell, it's actually not not that much, uh, not that much difference. Uh, we've got the back seats. Unfortunately, there is no leather, 
in this particular one. Uh, these seeds get very dirty, by the way, very easily. If there is any any like customer who has damp clothes on them, for various reasons, unfortunately, it's uh, it's game over for for at least half an hour or more. Um, ironically, these seats are quite comfortable. The only difference between these and the higher spec Passats is uh, the actual material. So if you have like leather seats, the shape of the actual seat is exactly the same. Uh, just uh, just the, just the actual material is uh, is different. So that's how it looks like. And um, another thing is that, uh, as mentioned before, uh, regular Passat has frames on the windows like most cars, uh, which sometimes might be a bit better, especially with, when someone is highly intoxicated. But then, if you look at uh, appearance, I would say CC uh, with frameless uh, windows look uh, much, much, much better. Uh, we're gonna just have a look. So when you when you open it up, it goes up and down as you can tell. So now we're gonna have a look at uh, the difference in lights. Um, just one one note: uh, Passat has typical halogen headlights, um, so it's nothing fancy. There are no LEDs. Uh, that's the way it looks like. In my personal opinion, they actually look better when uh, when they are turned off, <laughs> because you have a feeling they are xenon lights. But then when you turn them on, they actually look crap. Um, they're quite good on the road, considering that uh, they are halogen lights. And this is the way it looks like in CC. So you've got uh, xenon lights. They look really nice. You can't really tell because it's still early afternoon. So, uh, and some of the CCs, as far as I know, they had uh, the LED yeah. uh, daytime running lights. Yeah, but I think it's just a version airline. Okay. It's airline version. It's one one bad looking thing on the that, that lights or all headlights is a problem. What I just think. It's that daylight, it's just usually yellow light. Okay. With a halogen light, that's a Xenon. Would you be able to turn it off and just I have a, it. we can have a look. Yeah. You can yeah. see that. We can see that now, yeah. Right, and it's come in the dark, it's automatically, I don't know why, it's put it all together. So if you see in a car in the night, you see night Xenon, and then you see that yellow things here. Well, I think it's not a practical. And it's not easy to change it because if you buy from eBay any like what's a fit there, it's always common problem in that dashboard where it's like you have to change it because probably it's not power on it or something. So you probably don't find like you can find it, but it's gonna be cost a lot of money. And the taxi driver don't have a lot of money, so that's, <laughs> that's a problem. Exactly. <laughs> and then we can have a look on Passat uh, how the how the headlights look like. So we're gonna just. Uh, not the headlights, but the daytime riding lights. So we're gonna just turn them off. There we go. So. So that's the, that's the way it looks like. Exactly the same thing uh, happens as you, as Milan mentioned. So if you have like aftermarket uh, daytime riding lights, uh, Potentially there will be a problem on the dashboard. I think there is just uh, the voltage is too low and it just uh, keeps up uh, keeps uh, getting like errors uh, within the echo. So yeah, that's uh, that's the way it looks like. And that's uh, how the tail lamps uh, look like. There is a bit of flickering because because of the the camera settings, but uh, but you can tell they're kind of like LEDs. Really, really nice, really nice uh, tail lamps. And now Milan will just press the, the stop button. Okay, so we've got it here, here, 
and there. It's hard to tell because the window is tinted. And can you select the reverse? Okay, and we've got the reverse on both sides. So guys, my Passat is a bit dirty, as you can tell. I haven't cleaned it. I didn't really prepare the car for, for the recording today. So now Milan will turn on the lights. Okay, we've got the lights. That's the first one. That's the second one. It's actually hard to tell because it's still very... Uh, it's actually still... It's not dark yet. Okay, that's the stoplight. And we've got reverse, which is kind of similar, a bit more visible during the day, at night. In my opinion, doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So this is the Passat and here we've got CC. Passat, CC. important as a taxi driver you're using the, the horn all the time right you're beating the horn so let's have a look how Passat performs and now we're gonna have a look at CC slightly different more more luxurious, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> this one is like definitely aggressive, and this one is like, let me tell you, could you just fucking move forward? <laughs> Inside uh, Passat uh, B8, um, so it's a regular Passat. We're gonna have a look at cupboards. So the first one is just like cupboard for glasses or sunglasses uh, then we've got one in here it's actually a very small tiny one uh, it's quite deep inside as you can tell I have a lot of crap inside just like a lot of useless stuff some of it is quite useful but a lot of it is useless you've got USB port aux um, I can compare that to Skoda Superb Skoda Superb has a much nicer one uh, which is which is a bit bigger and uh, also has much more spy space inside another one which again has contains a lot of <laughs> my crap mm -hmm. uh, you can actually put sd cards in here uh, i assume one of them probably has like maps Volkswagen maps or something uh, it's actually you can't really tell because there is so much crap but uh, but you've got it's actually quite quite big and it's also a uh, cold one so we can adjust the temperature if you have like a bottle of vodka for a passenger or something, that's that's actually useful. Um, there is another one uh, just in here. I can just uh, show you. So I would I would actually try to keep changing here, but um, it has very nice lining. But again, if I can compare that to Superb, Superb had a much bigger one and it was much more useful. In Superb, you can insert your debit card. Um, so in here there is nothing like that. It's a nice material, much nicer than in Superb, uh, but it's much less practical. The same thing goes with uh, these side uh, cupboards. Um, they are sort of adjusted so we can put, I, I assume, like a small bottle of water in here. But then again, the shape is a bit weird on this side from my basic point of view. Because what I do usually is on the side, I've got a coin holder. Of course, this one is a broke one, because I broke it, like most things in my life. But uh, basically, if you, if you actually put it this, this way, it kind of holds itself. Unless you're trying corners, <laughs> trying to take corners at really high speed, which of course I never do. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's, that's the way it looks like. Um, in terms of the material, we are not comparing like and uh, like, like for like. So this one is a, is a sort of, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning, kind of a cheaper version. So we've got like a typical material. It gets dirty very easily. At, uh, on CC, you will find it's, a, it's leather. Um, that's actually quite easy to, to keep clean. 
Thankfully, it's not a it's not a black piano, as you can tell on the steering wheel. So this gets always dirty. No matter no matter no matter how many times you're gonna get it cleaned, it will get dirty within approximately one hour. Um, apart from that, they're actually very similar. So steering wheel is slightly different. It's kind of a bit more modern, but not by much. Uh, bigger screen, but then again, you know you are not going to be watching uh, soap operas on it, so it's probably not a, not a big deal. Um, when it comes to cup uh, cup holders. This one um, is not that useful actually. Um, anything bigger than half a liter bottle, it's actually annoying because when you're trying to, to ship gears, basically you, you can't do it. You would have to keep hand in a very unusual movement. Um, but I would say when it comes to like space, I would say, uh, do you feel comfortable, Milan? Of course, so many space here. <laughs> very good. Milan okay. is a big guy and he fits without any trouble. We can travel to Dublin, no problem. <laughs> Especially after a bottle of some good <laughs> good alcohol. <laughs> and also you, you get a feeling of sort of like a Bentley, you know, with that small watch. <laughs> no one can really tell what's what's the time uh, from the back, but it, but it looks cool. Uh, it kind of looks cool. Um, in CC. Um, I must admit, I love this uh, color version. It, it looks amazing. Seriously, it looks amazing. Uh, it actually feels nicer. It doesn't feel like Volkswagen. It actually feels more like Audi. Um, so now here we've, we've got two um, cup holders. You can actually exactly, you can press that. Uh, then you can just <laughs> put put a bit of some, crap, crap in here. Yeah, some my crap. <laughs> More crap <laughs> and more crap. <laughs> crap everywhere. And right. actually, a lot of crap will fit, fit in there, as you can tell. It is quite, quite, quite a quite a narrow, uh, narrow entrance to it, but uh, access to it. But it is quite deep. I would actually use analogy with with a, with a boot. And you can see uh, Milan has pen drive in here, and he plays music out of it. It's it's easy. Just hide it. Tip it on it. You just had it hidden space for usual Volkswagen MMI. Just just hold that in. So whenever whenever check entry comes up, uh, Milan knows how to <laughs> yeah, how, how to, to get it something. checked quickly. <laughs> As you can tell he's very proficient in checking <laughs> all these things. So <laughs> So then if I was taxing in this car, uh, basically one flow I can I can tell straight away is there is the, this this cup holder is much much uh, this cupboard is much much smaller than in uh, Passat or Skoda Superb. You couldn't fit um, that uh, coin holder. Potentially, it would be there, but you would have to put it on the side if it wasn't broke. Yes. Then, if you look at this one, uh, it is actually much bigger than uh, than the one in Passat. It's actually very deep, and you know, um, I would say th this is definitely much better de design done in uh, the actual Passat. Another difference, which is quite uh, quite nice, is uh, you can open up the boot using the, the button on the side. So if you just press that, as you can tell, the boot just opened up. Unfortunately, there is no automatic uh, closing of the boot. And then the actual key goes on the right hand side, just, just in here. We will just demonstrate that in a second. There we go. Doesn't matter which side. So we can put it either this side or this side. I'm just trying to start it. Typical V8. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Porsche. <laughs> but, um, and also in terms of the differences, this is definitely a better feel. I mean, it, it's not like some cheap material. It's uh, it's definitely a leather. Uh, this is, I'm not entirely sure that, that's probably not leather, but this is definitely leather. Uh, then we've got that slightly smaller screen, but it's still as useful as on, uh, on the regular Passat. Heated seats, we've got three, three options, which is quite, quite nice. Uh, dual 
climate control and also not all of the CCs have, um, have it but uh, it's sport and comfort uh, suspension mode it's called DCC technology but I don't know exactly what that mean <laughs> you'll have to google it that's the usual auto stop that's auto stop uh, which we don't like which we both hate <laughs> and we never use start and stop uh, which is probably not politically correct by today's standards but we don't like it uh, and this is actually quite nice because when you're driving on the motorway and you want to like go a bit quicker of course within the speed limit you can put sport and it kind of keeps like your your yeah. you so make you made it just one and a half centimeters down lower like usual standard mode so you feel like suspension is hard and steering wheel is hard, hard as well also if you brake it should be front suspension should be harder and back suspension should be should be softer so it's make you like nice and brake that's that's what the, should make that sport sport center so it's not exactly like air suspension but it's let's say sort of something similar to air suspension without the cost of air suspension uh, and we also have watch slightly different version from the Passat but it looks actually fancy so yeah that's 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 the way the car looks like and that's how the back seats look like from the front row we're gonna have a look there's lots of stuff I think it's maybe slightly bigger like usual Passat if you have a look I would that. say it's much bigger than the Passat you can have like extra port here if, if you make it of course but if you don't have it just empty space and Some, something even, for more crafts even a big pack of tic tacs fit in i've never seen such a big pack of tic tacs ever in my life but it's actually a really nice one it's, it's a practical <laughs> you know by the way you know what i don't like about volkswagen audi porsche every single make seat everything from volkswagen group all these empty buttons they remind you you could have configured your car better <laughs> even if you have every single option there is always you know button missing somewhere and it's so frustrating so annoying like okay i have a really nice version everything is sweet even even some you know additional option but you haven't had every single option because we have some additional buttons it's so frustrating but that's that's the case for every Volkswagen group uh, car which uh, so it's not specific to, to, to this particular car. And uh, of course that's a standard, so it's... Uh, Automatic timing mirror, how does it go? Yeah, timing uh, mirror, and that's... Uh, I don't know, what, what can you fit in, in here? It's not even like uh, sunglasses. It's maybe, <laughs> maybe just, this one is here, it's maybe just <laughs> one fan, and okay. of course I have is like... Special burger fresh <laughs> That's it. There is, no, can make it. there is no product placement, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored by Burger King. <laughs> and then you can also, that's very useful. We actually have missed that in Passat, but he also uh, has that. So you can turn on the, the lights from here. Which again, it's nothing special, but by today's standards, but it's very useful. It's good if you have that back tint window, if you can put it up and you yep. see it's so dark and it's a, it's a, if it's a night and you have a passenger in the night, it's hard to find find a like, door handle for open door, so I always put it as well. <laughs> Especially if they had a few drinks. <laughs> it's actually wrong because I had a few drinks, always find it, but if it's not drinks, it's always just a looking for it, so I just press the button. And they make uh, make more light in the back, and they just find it and just try to get out. My <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> just my experience. <laughs> but it definitely feels uh, feels nicer. I want to say it definitely feels nicer than than the Passat. You want to swap? <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> So Milan has uh, used PlastiDeep for this part, uh, basically of the of the bumper, and he will explain exactly what he did. It's actually not so easy to work with PlastiDeep. Uh, actually, practice is if you put the bagage on and off, 
it's always was a scratch is that's it's never scratch even if it's a scratch you just put it down like you can see the here see that it's easy put it on and you don't have nothing no any glue or something it's it's I have this just temporary for maybe one or two years but it's really good because you don't scratch your bodywork you just have like one spray of plastic you make this and maybe if you're fancy you can make that one very easy so everything was a chrome but I make it so this uh, I actually like that but like in Poland they would call it uh, agro tuning which would be like tr which, which would translate to farmer tuning <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that I don't know that probably means I should be a farmer same as this one but it actually looks 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 all right it's um and uh, especially it's uh, quite easy to make I suppose because yes. you don't really need some particular set of skills I guess even with my two left hands I could I could potentially do it and not not kill myself and others uh, while performing that complicated sophisticated operation <laughs> but it's actually very useful because you will not scratch you will not scratch the paint this is a very very good thing so we're gonna have a look what happened in Passat see if, if you don't have it you can have that really bad scratches but you can put this down but you have to rebrush and have to spray it again you just kind of cover that small it's not pretty small it's like bigger scratches so that's that's useful for taxi driver yep I, I guess, uh, it's missing something here <laughs> yeah well when it comes to missing buttons there is also a button which should be should be in here but it's not of course uh no it doesn't work <laughs> What about yours? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you have a button? No. I don't even have a button. <laughs> no, you don't even have a button. No space for button. <laughs> I just don't want to feel so bad anymore. 